Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your weekly love reading for September 10th to 16th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, the Eye of Zen is up on Amazon.com. All the information is in the description box below. Um, as well as I'm not doing any more person readings. Uh, they'll be opened back up again October 1st. However, I have a free reading contest going on, so all the details will be at the end of this video, so stick with me till the end. All right, so uh, Pisces, I don't want to take up too much of your time, so let's jump right in here. So what's going on my Pisces Romantic Love Life, September 10th to 16th? my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So Pisces, we're going to be doing the day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, uh, the block chilling challenge this week and then i'm going to conclude everything with an overall outcome so guys if you like it this way you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below let's jump right in all right so we got september 10th september 11th september 12th september 13th september 14th september 15th and september 16th so feel free, take notes, come back, check this out, and let me know how it plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. All right, so interesting enough, it seems like a lot of energy, a very structured, kind of organized, very put together kind of energy here coming up here this week. Um, some of you are definitely dealing with um, the sense of work this week for some of you. The sense of structure is a sense of order, okay? I'm gonna clarify even further. So let me use the, it's called the old style Lenormand. All right, so Pisces, Romantic Love Life, September 10th to 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so let's start with the first day. The Emperor card energy. The Emperor is the father of the Major Arcana. He represents some sense of order, some sense of structure, a sense of routine. I feel like you guys are very confident on this day. You are taking charge of your situation. There is a sense of order on this day. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, Tower just reconfirms that. The sense of order, st structure, some sense of, you know, things seem to just fall into place on that day. And it, it seems like a very organized, structured day. So. That is on September 10th. Let's clarify even further to see more information here. All right. Pisces, Romantic Love Life, September 10th to the 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Ah, there's the king energy. Wow. Yes, it's like a lot of that energy of you're looking to the past, you know exactly what to do, you're taking charge of your situation, you know, you're doing things in a very structured, organized way. So we see then the next day, we have this sense of, all right, you know what? I want to hold on to you, Pisces. I want to save you. That's the Four of Pentacles energy. I know exactly what I want. That's kind of that energy as well. It's like this energy of like, I know exactly what I want. I know exactly what to do here. Mm -hmm. So you guys got improvements here happening with the store card energy. <laughs> and we see the improvements and changes in the chemistry and passion because somebody really wants to hold on to you. And then we come to the King of Wands energy, which reconfirms this card right here. The King of Wands is a very passionate energy, right? It's a sense of order and structure in the, the passionate realm. Yeah, it's a stable energy. It's not like a player energy. This, this is a stable, passionate energy happening on this day of the 12th. Mm -hmm. Snake card energy is confirming strong desires. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And look what's going to happen with. Oh. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, potentially there could be an ex-partner or somebody you had dealt with before involved with the situation, okay? The Six of Cups energy is coming out, okay? So we see, it's like you're like, all right, I want to be wise in my decision making because of things that I dealt with in the past with the chemistry and passion of this ex-love interest. Mm. Okay. All right, Pisces. There is another uh, sign who also has some similar energies coming up for this week. I feel like it was Sagittarius. So you may want to check out this reading as well because also we see the Aries Sagittarius Leo uh, energy there. 
So we see on the 13th, there seems to be some juggling back and forth energy going on there with the Two of Pentacles. Like, all right, I need to really just figure this out to bring this in balance, really make a decision here about this situation because I am totally confused about what to do here with this Clouds card energy. And what's it about? So you guys are trying to use your intuition here to make some kind of decision that you're really confused about on this day of the 13th. Okay, so going further here, there's the Temperance card energy. Temperance is saying, all right, I'm going to be patient here because I want to figure out how to bring things into balance with my situation because I have this stuck energy or when it comes to my stability and stableness with the Anchor card energy. And it's to do with family and long-term commitment there. So going further on this, so we can see there's something to do with this ex-partner and there's spiritual lessons to be learned here and or you're trying to use your intuition about family and long-term commitment. The store card energy also can talk about the start of the family, all right, changes, improvements. So it looks like someone is really wanting to be patient here to kind of wait around and see how things are going to play out here on this day of the 15th. So there's a lot of waiting around and it seems like this person's like, I really want to hold on to you, Pisces. I want to hold on to you. You can see that in this card. You can see how this person's like, no, Pisces, I really want to hold on to you. You see, they're trying to hold on to that plant there. It's right where the Seven of Pentacles is at. All right. And I also feel like because this is an awkwardness to this person leaning over here, it's almost like they're going out of their way to hold on to you. Mm -hmm. And so there's a bit of a crossroads here because a decision needs to be made about things turning in your favor. So you're going to have to make a decision about this person who's trying to wait around and see how things are going to play out wants to hold on to you. Okay, because they have a lot of chemistry and passion. So we see what's coming up here, guys. Good news. Page of Pentacles energy. Page of Pentacles. Pages talk about potential or they talk about communication. All right, communication about what? Good news about what? Pentacles. Pentacles have to do with money family, children, long-term commitment. So good news around this area, potential area. And we see the ship card. Someone wants to travel to, and want some kind of movement here. And look at that. It's going to make you really happy on this day. You guys are going to be jumping for joy on this day. We see there's like wisdom here. You've gained a lot of wisdom here when it comes to chemistry and passion from this ex-partner, something to do with this person from the past. There is a sense of, all right, I'm going to use my intuition here when it comes to family and long-term commitment. Things are moving in your favor. It's really going to make you happy this week. There's going to be a happy connection this week. Okay. Let's go further here, Pisces. Let me move this out of the way. We're going to go down another layer here. All right. So there's a sense of order and structure when it comes to these changes and desires because of confusion around the stuck energy or stability and stableness. A choice has to be made here for, or this choice is going to be made here or some indecisions here about movement, travel, or change. Okay, going further, going further here. Can you move this out the way here? Someone wants to take control of this situation to hold on to you because they have chemistry and passion. So you're going to have to make this choice, a heavy choice. And you're trying to be patient here. And this person just is like, all right, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to invest time in this. And you're getting some good news about some kind of long-term commitment, money, family, long-term commitment here with the Page of Pentacles energy. Obviously, that makes you really happy. Emperor talks about control. Four of Pentacles talks about stability and stables. Kings talk about wisdom around a choice and being patient. And sevens talk about because there's a lot of analyzing, thinking, contemplating about this potential path. So now, Pisces, let's now look at your love interest feelings towards you. You are really weighing heavy on their mind with that Ten of Wands energy. So you're on their mind, heavy. Because they want something serious with you with this Ace of Pentacles energy. And this person definitely wants to marry you. There's the Hierophant card next to the Ace of Pentacles energy. Mm -hmm. And then we see a person card's coming out, trying to gain knowledge of how they can take control of the situation. Okay, Bear card energy. And this person wants to heal this connection because you make them completely happy. Ten of Cups energy. And they want to go out with you. They want to socialize with you. Or they may feel like you have more than one choice or option. That may be why it's also kind of weighing heavy on them. Because they're trying to gain knowledge of like, 
you know, does Pisces have more than one choice or option? Because I really want a long-term commitment with them. Or is there, are they already married here with this Hierophant card energy? Um, is there something to do with someone who um, is, um, for some of you, there may be a parent also, because the bear card energy can talk about a nurturing person, a mother, a father, and we see the Hierophant can talk about traditional values and people may be influencing their happiness and this healing connection because they want to gain knowledge about how to take this to the long term with the Ace of Pentacles energy and it's really weighing heavy on them because we also see a person cards coming out. They're trying to gain knowledge or trying to be an open book about it. Okay, that's for some of you. So let's see what's going on with the blockage lay and challenge this week, Pisces. So, something to do with ending, stopping, or completing a situation. Taking a break. Ah, should you take a risk here? Full card energy. Because of this uncertainty of whether or not they feel the same. So, there's hesitation in taking a risk because of something that ended. But of something to do with taking a break or stopping something because you're just like, I don't know if I should take a risk. I don't want to be naive here about the situation because I don't know. Is there really a true romantic connection here? Because I have uncertainty. I'm confused. Well, that's that two of pentacles energy, right? So let's see. What is the overall outcome here? So this person's feeling a bit defeated energy here with this five of swords. This particular five of swords also, it seems like there seems to be this uh, energy of somebody who's trying to battle it out with their desires. That's what I feel like here. And then Three of Pentacles, because there's a want to work together to build a foundation here, Three of Pentacles energy. And it looks like this person wants to communicate to get the answers that they need, clarity that they need with the Ace of Swords energy. That's what I feel like. The bird's there. And then this person's trying to be like, all right, I want to be open about this, right? Because I want to get the answers I need here so I can be victorious. And then we see the moon card talks about romance and someone who is, I don't know, they're trying to be sly or slick or they feel like there's some other person here with the three of pentacles energy and they want to heal this connection and they're trying to gain an understanding of this situation. So this person wants to fight for this connection, to work together, to build a foundation for something serious here. So they want to get the answers that they need. They're going to reveal some things. They want to heal this connection. Okay. Yep. There we go again. Book card energy, gaining knowledge about a choice crossroads energy to cut away unhealthy things from the past uh, some kind of decision here yeah somebody needs to gain clarity about the healing of this connection they feel like they don't know if they can be honest about this decision or this crossroads that they're out about working together and building a foundation this person feels defeated here in their desires or wanting to stand up and fight or walk away because they feel like they have romantic feelings for you and they're trying to gain knowledge about this choice okay all right you know pisces i want to hear from you guys in the comments below all right so guys if you like this please hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both i'm going to be releasing the bi-weeklies next i may just do a whole just single reads and then do the bi-weeklies with just the love interest so you guys let me know in the comments below um, for the free reading contest all you have to do is put twin flame in the comments below picking two people for a free personal reading I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys in another date or two.